So before we continue, you want to make sure that you've selected your group and we're going to add an adjustment layer to that. We're going to choose Hue and Saturation. Then make sure to turn your adjustment layer into a clipping mask. Now you can colorize this layer. You can choose any color. It depends on the color of the glow that you'd prefer, but I think I'm gonna go for more of a whitish glow. You can always change it or add to it later. So just play around with these adjustments until you're happy with your final result. And yeah, I think I quite like this look for now. I might decide to add some more color to it later, but I'll show you how to do that when we get there. Next, you're going to go on to your background copy that you made, the one with the adjustment layer, and you're going to add another adjustment layer to it. This time we're going to choose curve. Again, before we move on, you want to turn that into a clipping mask. And we're just going to put on that curve. Um, you can move it wherever you want until you're happy with it, but I'm just going to darken this a bit. The reason we're doing this is because we're going to add some highlights later on. And this will be easier when the deer is a bit darker than it is right now. That way, we can just paint in that highlight. So here you can see the effect of me adding that curve. And as you can see, the deer is a lot darker now, but we're going to add those highlights in a bit later and it's gonna kind of give the illusion that the glow on his horns is reflecting onto its body. 